Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Everyday Tactical Vids. You guys are used to seeing Tim. Uh, my name is Nathan. Tim is a longtime friend of mine and he knows that I enjoy shooting. So he asked me to help him out with this review today. Um, I share his passion for considering how we can all be a little bit more prepared in life. Uh, whether that means something as simple as carrying a multi-tool or learning how to start a fire from its basic elements all the way through to maybe something more elaborate like um, skills and proficiency with a firearm. So uh, today we're going to take a look at this holster here that was provided for us. Um, I'll get it on the tabletop and uh, we'll talk to you about my impressions of it, my experiences with it, and then we'll show it in action. So let's get started. Right, so let's take a look at it up close here. Um, as I mentioned, this is an outside the waistband holster or outside the waist belt holster um, provided to us by Demon Hunter Holsters, LLC. You can check these guys out. They are based in Austin, Texas. So right here in the proud U.S. of A. Um, look at them at uh, their website, demonhunterholsters.com. They also have a Facebook page too. Uh, I noticed when you follow them on Facebook and take a look at their stuff there, they have, uh, you know, that's where they keep you updated on things like free shipping and all the latest um, Kydex patterns and things like that that they are providing. Um, so there's a wide range of colors and design options to choose from. Uh, they actually say that their holsters are fully customizable, American, and handmade. So definitely support these guys. Um, they have offerings of other items, even like something this, this small minimalistic wallet here. Um, these are pretty cool. Um, if you get really annoyed by carrying around the bulky, you know, leather or something like that style traditional wallet, um, these are great. You know, so much of what we do today is just with cards. Um, so you can do that and then you can still get a little bit of money in there too. And they make these, uh, I think, different sizes too as far as how many cards they'll actually carry. So um, you can see here they've got some pretty pretty gnarly Kydex patterns. Um, this is a wrap style holster uh, with a single adjustable uh, retention screw there. Um, rubber grommet in there to, uh, to provide the tension uh, as you loosen it so it's not actually shifting or wobbling. Um, the clip has been customized. I don't know if the camera's going to catch it and pick it up. If not, I'll be sure to take a photo and we can drop that in. Uh, but it's got their logo on there, the uh, demon head. It says Made in Texas and it's got the Texas flag on there. The finish is good. So as we continue to look at the uh, construction and finish of this, uh, it does come with a nice rugged clip here. It's a good, um, a good thickness for an outside the waistband holster. Um, as you may know, there's various thicknesses of Kydex that you can actually get. Um, so they've done a good job selecting one that's going to be rigid enough for this application. Um, the actual finish on it here with the edge, everyone probably knows that that's one area you can really look at to kind of see how much time they spent on this. Um, there's nothing rough. Everything's been finished well. Um, some guys might prefer that this was actually rounded out a touch more, but that really is certainly a subjective and personal preference. So you have the luxury, uh, that's the beauty of Kydex, of getting in there and actually smoothing that out some more if you really wanted to. Um, but pulling this out of the box and going ahead and using it, you're not going to feel like, man, what am I bumping into there as I uh, insert my gun and extract it. So um, this is an uh, open bottom design, designed for the G19. Um, you can see they've done a nice job actually cutting it for the G19. Um, because it's an open bottom design, you know that you can run the 26 and you could run the 17, even the 34 is going to stick out a lot, but hey, it's an option if you really wanted to get one holster and you have uh, uh, several different guns there. That's the beauty of the, the open bottom. Um, but it is nice. I've seen some open bottom designs uh, where you actually get it and you stick your 19 in and you're like, well, it's, it's a little bit too long for the 19. You stick the 17 in, it's a little bit too short for that or whatever. Or you, you stick the 26 in, it's certainly too long for the 26, but then you stick the 19 in, it's too... It's just, it's nice that they actually cut it to a specific length rather than calling, calling it universal and kind of picking some arbitrary length where nothing actually looks kind of finish uh, or flush in it. So kudos to them for that. Um, as they said, fully customizable. So they will cut it to what you request it to be cut at. Um, so yeah, let's get it out on the range. Um, you guys can watch me put it into action for a little bit and then I'll come back and share my final thoughts about it.
All right, so let's uh, look at just a few closing remarks here about pros and cons, my thoughts on it. Um, I have enjoyed running this holster. I'm, I'm used to an inside the waist band, inside the waist belt holster. Um, so running outside is, is certainly a little bit different for me, a little bit different location there. Um, but the clip, it's, it's been a good clip. It's a good rugged clip. I have enjoyed the ability um, for those of you who maybe are looking to be able to take your gun on and off uh, with a lot more ease outside the waistband with this kind of clip style is, is definitely beneficial. Uh, my brother has the exact same style clip on his, um, his personal holster, a different company, but um, same style clip and, and really enjoys it and the ability to take it on and off. So that's definitely a benefit. Um, I like how clean and simple the design in it is. I think that's really just the biggest thing for me uh, that I liked about it. Um, it doesn't need to be anything more than this because this just, just does its job. So, you know, maybe you want a plain color and to simplify it some more, or maybe someone who wants something a little bit more showy. Um, again, it's customizable. So, and they say they can do it in within two weeks, get it to you. So, for those of you who have had to wait before for a holster, that probably is going to be a big plus. Um, for me, the only negative uh, experience I had was with the retention itself. Um, out of the box, I know they're not setting these to any sort of, you know, torque spec or anything like that. That's for us to set as users. Um, I've wrenched this thing down pretty hard, um, and I'm just used to more, more retention on it. So if you're someone that's looking for a lot of retention, this style might, might not be able to accommodate you. Um, you know, if they ran the screw a little bit higher, they might find they could get uh, more retention without having to uh, torque it down quite as much. But uh, you know, I can load the gun up, I can tip it upside down, I can even shake it a little bit, and it's not going to fall out as I have it set. So there might even be some more there. I know a good, a good jerk, and I, I can dislodge it. Um, but that might not make it or break it for you. I just wanted to let you know what my personal experience was with it. Um, otherwise, Demon Hunter Holsters LLC, made in the USA, right down in Austin, Texas. Um, good price for a quality holster right out of the box, ready to go. Um, ready for hard use. So check them out. Thanks for tuning in. And, um, you know, come back for another gear review in the future.